good? Very stay dry? Yeah, it's fine, you know. It's, it's as fun for me as it would be anybody else, I guess. If you paid for a ticket and you came here, it's fun. If you're playing a show, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the rain sucks, but... Yeah. Whatever. It's funny because I've, I've talked to so many people that are like, like, like the rain almost in a way makes a festival setting kind of more rowdy and like yeah. energetic almost because everybody's just like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm already wet. Yeah. Like what's going to happen now? Like, I think that's probably true. <laughs> yeah. My dad used to say if you're working, get get everybody dirty in the morning and they work good all day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm here for it. I mean, English wasn't his specialty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely going to be a, an interesting time out here at Louder Than Life for sure. But uh, welcome back to Louder and welcome back to Louisville. Sorry for the uh, the post hurricane. <laughs> yeah, we flew in yesterday and it was Jeez. exciting. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably one one yeah. way to describe it. A little bit yeah. bumpy. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's a little bit bumpy. Yeah. Well, you guys have kind of been doing like some one-off shows recently. I mean, yeah. you, you wrapped up the summer tour and now it's just kind of like some one-off thing. So, you know, what's uh, yeah. you know what's the uh, the vibe? I mean, we're basically forward? like this is the last show for, I think for us for the year. Yeah. And we'll start back in April. Mm -hmm. But um, we've been finishing an album which is done now we just have yet to get it mixed done as it can be until somebody takes it away from you yeah yeah and then it's like okay they're gonna do this thing and yeah because people you know you want to keep working on it forever yeah if nobody takes it away from you it'll be forever so but um, yeah so we'll have music out this year and then we'll start back touring again in probably April. It. yeah because I mean like that was that was gonna be the thing it's I mean the last album I mean it's been three years at this point so has it <laughs> wow I know, Time right? Flies like, by, it's, it? it's crazy. Well, I mean, it's like you're kind of getting right out of like post-pandemic, like all of that, and then you know, kind of just it all is. It's post-pandemic, like, and things are still affected by it. You know, even yeah. with the fact that our last album for Sony came out during the pandemic, right? Yeah. So I felt like everything that came out during the pandemic wasn't really. It was hard to get anything because there was so much news every day, and, yeah. and so things kind of got swallowed up by it. And um, with Neuradius, our last album, yeah. kind of felt like that happened as much as they tried yeah. to get it out, and it was fine. It did great, and I think it was. I think it was sort of. Uh, I mean, it's definitely a special record for us because of the time that it took us to put it in the songs and the, yeah. that sort of that snapshot of where we were in our musical careers at that time. So. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing when things are, they don't have their full, yeah. sort of the full weight of things behind them, which yeah. is kind of what happened. But, um, hey, we'll do it again. Yeah, I mean, well, not the pandemic. We don't want to do that again. Not so much. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but with the uh, with the new album and everything, you know, talking about, it's like, okay, well, you know, you go back three years and, like, the world's in a very, like, different place than it, than it is now even. So, you know, like, this album, how does that show kind of the evolution of where the band has progressed since then? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a natural thing if you want to keep writing the same album again and again, the same kind of songs. It's We're a hard rock, melodic band, um, sometimes bordering a little bit on light metal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's where we like to be. So we're trying to do, trying to write songs that sound different from all the other songs, but still yeah. sound like us, and they're still in that genre. So I think this is a, a, an evolution of that. Um, after we've published, you know, over a hundred songs at this point, yeah. and there might be two songs that sort of sound similar to two other songs, but that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, some people say that's not even true either. So yeah. it's really hard to make 120 original songs. Yeah. So um, I hope that we're doing it. I hope yeah. we've done it. Well, you still you draw all those influences from from other bands that you know you listen to and, and you respect and everything. But then after a while, you start drawing from like you know those experiences that you've had as your band, and it's like okay, well this is just that continuation. So I know you know a lot of the a lot of the bands that you know have inspired you guys have been obviously like Tool and uh, The Cure and like kind of in in that realm. So yeah, we uh, try not to listen to. For the most part, we try not to listen to anything in our genre. Yeah? Yeah, because 
you don't want to be influenced by that. So that's why The Cure is a good band. So my yeah. brothers are, uh, he's influenced by strong singers, right? Yeah. So that's why The Cure, Depeche Mode, but lots of 80s stuff, yeah. things like that where, um, and then we, I mean, we don't listen to, try not to listen to stuff in our own genre. I mean, I listen to some, some pretty, some metal, some like okay. really heavy stuff. Every yeah. time I die, you know, like yeah, things that like heaviness. that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, which I love. Um, and that's definitely outside of our genre. We're yeah. not, we're not that band. But um, yeah, but we try not to listen to other things that are are anything, any of that stuff. It's I, just it I helps truly, to not do it. Yeah, I thought you were gonna throw me a curveball and be like, be like, yeah, like not even that, like going like the complete opposite direction, be like listening to like all the like pop stuff and like all of that like I was like, I was like I that's mean, interesting I mean that's a true thing but I couldn't get through it if I tried <laughs> I mean, there are some ones where it's like, oh, oh like this is, this is a thing. Like, I mean, like, what? see, pop music to me is it's just Disney, right? Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing except they're singing about Snow White or Cinderella. It's really the same thing because it's just pop music, and there's nothing wrong with it if that's your if that's your style. But to yeah. me, it's it's written in a very I am, I'm I'm gonna sound like I'm being an asshole here. That's not what I mean to say. It's just a, boring. I don't know. Like, it just kind of all sounds the same to me. And anytime yeah, I hear yeah, things that are in, in the, you know, major with major chords with a female singing way up here, I feel like I'm being screamed at by my mom. <laughs> so personally, for me, yeah. it's not really my thing, and I can't get through it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of the same. It's like even with our radio station, we have a pop station that is in our building and our our cluster, and like hearing that station sometimes like as soon as the boss leaves i go in and turn it down <laughs> like i can't yeah i can't deal with some of them. i mean there, there, i think you and i think you have standouts in every genre too yeah. right so we listen to what is like you know quote unquote pop music and then you'll have some pretty great artists in there that you're like wow that's an amazing sound yeah. and then you have the people that sort of bridge the thing between you know, pop music and other genres, and when they just come up with a song that just, you just can't believe it's one of the best songs ever written, right? Yeah. And, like, and it will be labeled as pop, and you'll be like, yeah, yeah is yeah, it? Yeah. It's like, not really Britney Spears type pop, right? Yeah, but it's, it's very, pop in the sense that it's just popular, popular yeah. like, yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah, so some of them can be tough, but, you know, I think, you know, you, when you when you open up that spectrum and you look at, like you said, like, some of the stuff that isn't in your exact genre, you know, to kind of help with uh, being able to do your own thing. I mean, I, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun to check out some new music, hopefully sooner rather than later with yeah. uh, with everything. Um, but when you talk about like you know, you've done a hundred plus original songs at this point. One of my favorite things to ask every artist, you know, when you think about putting together a set list for a <laughs> standard headlining show, it's really fucking hard. Like, it's really hard. Yeah. Well, obviously. Obviously, there, there's always going to be those staple songs that it's yeah. like, yeah, we're going to put this in. We yeah, people put it in, are like, disappointed. Like, yeah. We think about it in the terms of like the Rolling Stones, right? Because yeah. they've been playing this, some of the same songs for 50, 60 years, right? Yeah. But they still have to play them because if they do a show, their fan base is like, oh, I, yeah. you know, I want to hear that, right? I want to hear it every time I go. I don't yeah. care if I see them 15 times. Yeah. So um, that being said, we do have those songs. But then there's this like sort of dance between things that we we want to play and deep cuts and things that are popular cuts and then giving some deep cuts and then you go too deep yeah. and you you be like the audience would be like nobody knew that They're song like, right like, they, wait, like, this is this is you guys and like, it's what? cool like for people to go i don't oh i forgot about that song yeah. right but that's not what you're getting from the crowd at the time you're just getting huh be like wait you know wait, wait which which one is it? yeah and that's okay because we've written a lot of songs at this point so you can't they can't all be hits and you can't remember them all um so you know well like is there is there a particular song that you wish that you could put onto the set list but it kind of falls into that category of like be like ah oh, well you know we're there's a good chance we might lose them with with this one i'm not really a no. little bit but not really for the most part, if we want to do it, we'll do it. Yeah. You know, like, oh, I really I miss playing this song. Yeah. So, so yeah, not, we kind of get to do whatever we want for the most part. Yeah. But, um, I just don't want to be that band that, 
20 years later somebody comes and sees you and they're like, oh, that was the same set list as I saw 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a lot of things you can do about it. It can be about the set list. It can also be about putting a few covers in or changing your production or yeah. doing that same song a different way or medley or... Yeah. There's a lot of options if you want to put the time into it. Yeah. Or even just like reordering things. It's like, you know, sure. hey, like we opened with this for, you know, yes. fucking like so many years. Like, let's change yeah. it up. Like, so. Well, that's one of the things like we that. say too is that for the most part, people only remember the beginning and the end of the of the set as far as placement goes, yeah. right? They might remember that there's other songs in there, but yeah. so if you can change those things, those are your main things to change up. I've heard from a few different people, and it, it, it's very weird. I don't know if it's just like a, a thing with bands, though, but uh, the, last, the last people that I heard it from was the Black Keys, and they said... It, like the second song of your set should always be one of your biggest hits. I mean, that's a good, I think that's a good idea. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's a smart thing to do. I'm not, I'm not saying that it has to work or that it works every time, but that seems like a good general rule to me. Yeah. Like, is there any particular reason that you feel like, I mean, like, obviously first song people are excited because, you know, you've started, but like... Well, you could look at a set like moments, right? Uh -huh. So, be like, all right, so this set's going to be an hour and a half long. We know the beginning of the, of the set is a moment. You want the end to be a moment. What are the moments in between? Yeah. And once you've established that show at the beginning, you're like now what right so you kind of got to give people yeah we a lot of times try to go you know single not single single not single so yeah and then, and then of course some of those singles are really big singles and some of them are singles that people forgot about yeah. but most of the time if you follow that genre you're gonna hear you're gonna remember those singles that aren't as popular yeah so i mean there's no rule but that does seem like a good one if you're gonna you know, start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what makes the uh, the set list today. I mean, festival shorter set, so you know. I yeah, it's get only it. a 50 minute set, so we'll yeah. try and get fit probably 11 songs in if we can. All right. We move pretty fast through them. I mean, I'm here for it. I think it's going to be fantastic. Hopefully, uh, the weather is a little bit nicer, but also, you know, even if it's not, everybody's in that not give yeah. a fuck mode. And I know, just dude. Party. It's just, I know, and you end up remembering the shows that end up being de weird, different. Something bad yeah. happens. Something good happens. Yeah. Those end up being the special ones. So, you know, yeah. yeah. I'm here for it, man. I appreciate you taking the time to, yeah, uh, to chat and everything. It's going to be awesome to check you out. And, uh, you know, next time you're in Louisville, hopefully it's better weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Thanks Good for having to us. see you. Of course, for sure.